Hi there, I hope you're doing well. Big thank you to everybody who took the time to attend our recent online listening posts and also to respond to our survey. And also thanks to those of you who sent us direct comments giving feedback on what you'd like to see by way of PSA offerings and events in 2022. Now the feedback confirmed what we already knew to a large degree, that there's a lot of passion and support in the PSA community, which is absolutely fantastic. There are those of you who really love the learning. It's all about high quality learning and you wanna hear from great speakers, but you don't really wanna be talked at 100% of the time. You want a chance to have great discussions about what you've taken from the content and also opportunities to share what's working for you in your business with each other. At the other end of the scale, there are those of you who really want the community and the fellowship. It's all about uh, being connected to other members of the PSA family. And the content is a great bonus on top of that. And then there's everybody in between. So we can't guarantee that we're going to please everybody all of the time, but I wanted to share with you what we're planning on our program from April next year and beyond. And in fact, some of it has already started. We're going to be launching a program of monthly high quality national online events that will feature amazing speakers and opportunities to discuss the content. We've formed a subgroup and I've been so pleased to be joined by former national presidents, Michael McQueen and Warwick Merry, along with fellow board members, Sally Foley-Lewis and Lisa Evans. And we've already shared some fantastic um, ideas for what that program is going to look like. Our chapter events will be continuing and we've got a fantastic new group of chapter uh, leadership teams and presidents coming in for 2022. And I want to thank everybody who is continuing to serve so enthusiastically at the chapter level. We had lots of different views about chapter events. And as you know, we explored different options for continuing to have them monthly or having them less frequently. And uh, as it's turned out, there are really polarized views about this. And so to a degree, we're going to allow the chapters to determine uh, how frequently and what type of events they want to hold. Uh, there's such an appetite for great facilitated discussions, round table meetings where we have a number of experts and you get exposure to them uh, throughout the evening uh, and other creative ways to run events that don't necessarily need to involve having a speaker or several speakers across the course of the evening. Uh, so uh, chapters will be determining the type of events that they want to run. Of course, still very much upholding our PSA brand and being part of the suite of offerings that uh, we deliver to members and guests. So your chapter leaders will be really keen to hear your views uh, in an ongoing way to make sure that they're delivering for your chapter the type of, of event that you want to attend. Those events may still well be monthly, but uh, chapters also have the freedom to do them less frequently if that's what the members of that chapter prefer. Of course, there's lots of other things on the boil as well. We've got convention, of course. Uh, you're probably aware by now that we're launching a CSP pathway program for professional members, which is amazing. And we're also exploring other ways to give you opportunity to discuss great content, whether that's an additional mastermind type opportunity that we do in between the national events, all of that is, is still being discussed. But one way or another, we're planning a really terrific program that's going to give you great value for your PSA membership. Stay safe and well, everybody, and we'll keep you posted as our planning unfolds. Bye for now.